Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going through uh, Cambridge IGCSE 2023 May June paper 1 2. Uh, so, if you are visiting first time to my channel, please subscribe to the channel because you will get many more videos on IGCSE and other useful content for your revision and study. Uh, so this is the second part of this video actually in the first part we did question 1 to 13 so here we have question number 14 uh, without using a calculator work out uh, 4 over 7 divided by 1 5 over 21 so we have a mixed number here this 4 over 7 divided by this is 21 times 1 plus 5 so this is 21 plus 5 that will be 26 right so this will become 26 over 21 in the numerator this will remain as it is right um, 4 over 7 now change this to multiplication then we will take reciprocal of this so this is 21 over 26 right now we can simplify if possible now you see 7 times 1 7 7 times 3 so 2 2 times 2 this is 13 so we are left with 2 times 3 it is 6 over 13 so final answer is 6 over 13 right so now number 15 f is the point uh, 1 4 f g is uh, 8 3 g h is this uh, find 3 times f g so 3 times f g means f g we are given here negative 12 and 35 so this 3 will be multiplied to both of them here so this is going to be minus 36 and 30 sorry sorry i have taken this wrongly so this is not the one 3 times fg fg is 8 and minus 3 fg is here so 3 times 8 is 24 3 times 3 is 9 so final answer is 24 and minus 9 right now find fg plus gh fg we are have here fg is 8 negative 3 plus gh is negative 12 and 35 right so we have plus sign here we will combine this is 8 plus minus so that will become 8 minus 12 this is negative 3 plus 35 negative 4 and 32 so that is the final answer negative 4 and 32 right now this is a bit tricky the coordinate of point g so we are looking for coordinate of point g now we have fg here right so fg we are given vector fg is equal to um, 8 and negative 3 right so now fg is a distance from f to g right to get fg that means we have g minus f so this fg can be written as vector g minus f right so this is 8 and minus 3 now we are looking for g so g will remain as it is here and f f we are given here um, f is a point 1 and negative 4 in vector notation we can write it down as 1 minus 4 equals to 8 and minus 3 right so now uh, we shift this to other side g will be this 8 3 and this is negative here other side it will become plus 1 over minus uh, 1 and minus 4 so when you do this 8 plus 1 it is 9 negative 3 negative 4 is negative 7 so coordinate will be negative uh, 9 and negative 7 right Now number 16, x is an integer where x is greater than negative 3 and less than negative 3. So all possible values on the number line that is integer. So 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2 and negative 3. So you see there is a negative uh, greater than sign here and with that the, we have equal sign. So that means this negative value negative 3 is included. Negative 3, negative 2, negative 1 negative 2 negative 1 0 then 1 2 1 and 2 we, we are not going to include 3 because we have only less than 3 it's not equal to 3 right 
Now, number 17, uh, find the size of interior angle of regular 15 sided polygon. Now, we know that sum of interior angles are equals to n minus 2 times 180, right? So, n uh, we have here uh, 15 minus 2 times 180. So, this is 13 times 180 which gives us 234, 2340. This is sum and we are looking for one angle. So, one angle is going to be 2340 divided by 15 which is 156 degrees, right? Question number 18, uh, write down 45,000 in standard form. So, 45,000 in standard form. Now, you know, to write in standard form, we should have this digit um, less than 10. So, we have 4.5 times other zeros we will write in terms of 10 raised to power something. So, our decimal is here, right? So, we are going to shift 1, 2, 3 and 4 decimal uh, points left hand side. So, that means this is going to be 10 power 4. 4.5 times 10 raised to power 4, right? Now, calculate 6.75. Calculate 6.75 times 10 raised to power negative 3 times 4.2 times 10 power 5. So, what we will do, we are going to combine these together and these together, okay? So, this will be 6.75 times 4.2 times 10 raised to power negative 3, 10 raised to power 5. So, 6.75 times 4.2, uh, 6.75 times 4.2, it is 28.35. So, this is 28.35 into 10 raised to power. We will use exponent rule here. So, when we have base same and different powers, we add the power. So, this is 10 power negative 3 plus 5. So, this is 28.35 times 10 raised to power 2. But this is not in standard form now. We need to write down answer in the standard form. So, we are shifting, <coughs> sorry, shifting one digit left hand side. So this will become 2.835 times 10 raised to power 3. I'm going to add one zero here. So 2.835 times 10 raised to power 3. Question number 19. We have 18 x power 12 divided by 3 x power 3. So 3 times 6. This is 6 x power 12 minus 3. 6 x power 9. So 6 x power 9 is the correct answer. Question number 20. This is a bit tricky. Be careful. Um, buses at a station go to port or to the town. Um, bus leaves every 28 minutes for the port and bus leaves every 48 minutes for the town. At 10.18, a bus for the port and the bus for a town leave a uh, station together. Always remember to underline the keywords like so that you don't miss anything and so they leave together right so we have this is the time interval for those two so we can find out lcm for that 2 14 24 2 times 7 2 times 12 2 7 2 times 6 again 2 times 3 3 1 and 1 uh, so, LCM is going to be 2 power 1, 2, 3, 4 times 7 times 3. So, let's see how much is that. 7 times 3 times 2 power 4. This is 336. So, this we are talking about the minutes, right? So, these are 3 minutes. So, if we divide it by 60, so this will become... Uh, divide by 60 5.6 so 5.6 hours so meaning 5 hours 
plus 0 0.6 hours right uh, so 0 0.6 is uh, 5 hours we know that and 0 0.6 uh, one thing we need this one and 0 0.6 times 60 that is going to be 36 minutes right so now what we are talking about here at 10 18 bus like at 10 18 they start together find the next time when they will uh, meet together so 10 18 from 10 18 you add 5 hours so this is uh, like 10 18 then 11 18 12 18 13 18 14 18 this is 1 hour 2 3 4 and 5 so 15 18 so that means 15 and then this 18 18 minutes plus 36 minutes so this is 50 so 15 54 so they will meet together at 15 54 okay now number 22 you can see here we have two uh, similar triangles here triangle abc is similar to triangle pqr abc and pqr calculate qr uh, qr is this one here so because they are similar we can just take the ratio and uh, it will be like rq or qr over 9 will be equal to 18 over 15 so qr is going to be 18 over 15 times 9 right so we can simplify 3 times 6 3 times 5 so this comes out to be 10.8 so this is 10.8 centimeters uh, before we start question number 22 I would request you guys to if you are liking the video and understanding the concept please please subscribe to my channel and press the like button and share it with your friends and those who have already done that thank you so much guys god bless you for that and so now let's start number 22 uh, we have a right angle triangle here and the diagram shows a right angle triangle abc calculate ab we are looking for this ab now you see we have an angle and we have a side we can easily use so katoa here i hope you all know that so katoa oh uh, this is opposite so opposite side is always side which is opposite to the angle uh, that is opposite and which is beside the angle that is adjacent right so o for opposite a for adjacent right uh, so we can use here we have this one we are we want to involve this opposite and this is hypotenuse right so we want to involve these two sides and this angle so that means the sign of 42 is going to be opposite over hypotenuse opposite is uh, ab hypotenuse is 8.6 so ab is 8.6 times sine 42 which is 5.75 so 5.75 is final answer right now part b we can have we have another triangle there are two triangles actually here right angle triangle and the one big one the diagram shows right angle triangle pqs and prs pqs and prs so pq is this qs 11.2 sr is 20 calculate pr we are looking for this pr as here uh, pr sorry for pr we need to have this side here so we have this triangle first of all we will do this triangle here so in triangle psq by pythagoras theorem we will have pq square that is 23.8 squared equals to 11.2 squared plus ps squared so from here ps square will be 23.8 squared minus 11.2 squared so which is 556 66.42 minus 125.44 so ps is going to be so if you calculate this one the square root of this when you subtracted it came 440.90 so let me take the square root of this so square root of 440.98 this is 20.9 so 
uh, I can approximate this to 21 right centimeters so if we have this 21 centimeters then we can easily find out PR so now PR is hypotenuse of this triangle right so that means PR square equals to that will be 20 square plus 21 square this is 400 plus 441 so 841 PR and the square root which is 29 so final answer is 29 centimeters right question 23 the mass m kilogram of an object uh, is 350 kilograms correct to nearest 10 complete the statement so we need lower bound and upper bound so 10 divided by 2 is 5 so uh, we are going to add here for 350 for the upper bound plus 5 for the lower bound it is minus 5 this will be 345 this is 355 so 345 and 3 55 this was easy uh, now the mass of the object b is 348 and correct to the nearest kilogram now it's nearest kilogram and show that the mass of the object v b may be more than mass of object a now if we have this 347.5 will be less than or equals to m less than or equals to 348.5 so that means this is the range that we may have since the lower bound of b since lower bound of b is greater than is greater than the lower bound of than lower bound of a so possibly you can say possibly B has larger mass than A. Why we have done this? We are given kilogram. So kilogram, half of the kilogram is going to be 0 0.5 that we have added and subtracted here. Right? So that's it for this video. So I hope you guys understood every question. If you like the video please share it with your friends and uh, make sure you press the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you so much guys god bless you see you in the next video